Here's our turbulator demo. We've got a variety of sizes of turbulators and styles of turbulators here, and we've got our rig. So first thing I'm going to do is fire this up, and we'll see what kind of stack temperature we get on it. So what we'll see here is the stack temperature rapidly rising as the flue gases pass through the tube. And we'll let this settle out and see what our final stack temperature is on our demo. So we've maxed out here at about 850 degrees on the outlet of our heat exchanger. It's not much of a heat exchanger, but we want to make the most of it. So if we add a turbulator to this heat exchanger, it's going to force the cooler and hotter portions of the flue gas to mix, and we're going to get a lot better heat transfer on our pipe. So what we'll watch and see here is our stack or outlet temperature actually fall over time because a lot more heat is being radiated from the exchanger. So we can see here that we've had over a 200 degree drop in the outlet temperature. Now we've got the same amount of fire going in, nothing's changed, but instead of the heat leaving the process out the stack, it's being transferred to this pipe and exchanging quite a bit more heat outward. So this is a big improvement on the efficiency of our system. There's no doubt that turbulators give us a huge efficiency boost, especially when we're dealing with a single two pass or even three pass boiler. Um, but we've got another technology, XID tubing, that's more recent and it actually is integrated into the tube itself. So we get the benefit of spinning the flue gases that we have with a turbulator, but we also get added surface area inside the tube for heat transfer to the water, or steam, or whatever media that we're heating. So a lot of our newer boilers use this technology, but you'll still find many, many boilers with turbulators installed. Important thing about a turbulator though, is it only works if it's in the tube. If those are taken out during an inspection and not replaced, um, you're losing, in this case, 250 degrees of, from the flue gases before they leave the stack. Appreciate Jude tackling that topic on turbulators. Now ASHRAE is coming January 14th, 15th, and 16th down in Atlanta. Make sure you come by and see us, get a free t-shirt. Tonight is Christmas Eve, so we want to just wish everyone a very Merry Christmas from everyone here at WARE. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you don't mind. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and maybe even share a video. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.